Hi everyone, it's Enchanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to be picking cards to see how your person is currently feeling about you. What would they say to you? Where is this connection headed? And more. Um, in the extended reading, which you can find on my Patreon, to which the link will be in the description box below. Um, oh, well, you'll find my website in the description box below, and then you'll see the Patreon, but I also do have the link for the Patreon. Um, I have gotten a couple of questions about this, but yeah, um, you can sign up for extended readings through there. And and um, something else that I also wanted to do before we get started introducing the piles is give a shout out to Keen, which is a network of trusted psychic advisors who you can go to for spiritual guidance. If you use my code, you'll get 10 minutes for $1.99, which I think is a really, really good deal. Um, yeah, you just, you know, if you have any sort of like questions about your love life, career life, really anything, um, you can go ahead and uh, use Keen for that if you want. I've personally used it. I really, really um, enjoyed it as a service i mean like i met some of the nicest most kindest empathetic people on there so i do recommend that i wouldn't recommend anything i didn't think you know uh would be relevant to my channel or some you know that i thought was like a bad service but yeah definitely you know do check that out if you're interested and yeah without further ado let me go ahead and introduce the piles so here we have pile one with the pyrite here we have pile two with the clear crystal quartz and here we have pile three with the amethyst okay so um go ahead and take a second to meditate upon the piles and pick one that you are the most energetically drawn to you can pick based on anything the angel numbers the crystals the properties the timestamps it is up to you but do go ahead and pick based on your intuition um once you've done that head over to the timestamps and we will see you in your respective piles Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your reading. You all pick the Pyrite. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person currently feeling about you? What would they say to you and more? Um, before getting started with the reading, I did want to give a huge shout out to Keen for sponsoring this video. Um, Keen is a psychic advisor network, okay? Network of psychic advisors where you can seek answers to your most pressing questions, okay? If you need any sort of like spiritual guidance, Keen is a great resource. I've personally used it. I can vouch for it. There are a bunch of psychic advisors who are really kind, spiritual, um, very understanding empaths, okay? So yeah, I'm personally not on Keen. I'm not an advisor on there, but you can definitely use my code to get um, 10 minutes for $1.99, which is a really good deal, okay? Your first 10 minutes will only be $1.99 if you use my code. Um, that will be in the description box below, or you can go to my website and um, just look up the, like, slot or button that says keen and you will find that there so yeah without further ado let's go and get started i recently got this astral realms crystal oracle deck which i'm so excited to be using you're the first one i get to use this on pile one so i'm ex i'm so 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 excited i also got the seasons of the witch deck which is also great the samhain oracle um please excuse me if i didn't like pronounce that right but um basically this word samhain samhain at uh, yeah correct me um, again, if I didn't pronounce it right, uh, means like Halloween and I think Celtic pagan and it's like it marks the first year of um, You know, okay, sorry, there's a fire truck going by every time there's a fire truck going by I'm just like hoping like, you know, whoever they're going to save is okay But yeah, basically some hay marks the first year of the Celtic pagan calendar um, So yeah, okay um, without further ado, let's actually go ahead and get started Let's go ahead and see what these cards have to say here. Okay, we got discipline Saturn and then this says as Azurite azurite if i'm not wrong yeah i feel like that's a blue crystal right here blue has to do with communication it has to do with the throat chakra it has to do with um you know just like setting even like boundaries okay i feel like for a lot of you maybe in the past you weren't really that great at setting boundaries and maybe you tolerated more than you should have and like you know this relationship is making you realize all that i feel like this definitely did trigger certain things within you like maybe things from your childhood or things from your past relationships or um yeah it made you like it sort of triggered your spiritual awakening here and what i'm really seeing here is that your person i'm seeing someone definitely could have saturn placements i'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in there we go that's so much better yeah someone could have saturn placements capricorn placements someone is really busy at work okay they take that aspect of their life really really seriously uh yeah we definitely got saturn influences maybe someone wears that saturn necklace i love that necklace it's like a pearl necklace i'm wearing it right now and it has saturn in the middle um but i am seeing that someone is really busy at like you know improving themselves i feel like this is you and your person i feel like this is the shared collective energy so a lot of the times you will hear me talk about your energy but i feel like the both of you are reflecting each other's energy so um you know i feel like you're 
really hard at your you're working really hard at your spiritual journey your manifesting journey you've been getting into law of attraction law of assumption you know just manifestation you've been trying to be more disciplined with your affirmations and really just like up level in life working on self-love self-concept and i feel like your person is reflecting that back to you at the moment which is really really good okay because i feel like this person needed that i feel like this person needed some sort of energetic push and they're really glad that they met you because i feel like this is some sort of twin flame connection okay like i, I know we didn't even pick any tarot cards but i'm seeing like this is some sort of like um spiritual telepathic connection where the both of you are really mirroring each other's energies right now and it's like crazy because your person is feeling everything you are and you may be feeling certain things that your person's feeling so if you feel stressed out or weird for no reason at all it might not even be your feelings it could be your person's energy okay so um one thing i would recommend is for you to kind of just take back your energy protect your energy if you have been going through some sort of like spiritual attacks or you're just really stressed out okay um at the end of the day you and your person will always be connected but you know you don't have to deal with their lower vibrational self okay this is something we're going to talk about in the extended reading but you deserve to manifest the best version of your person and that's actually an affirmation you can use right now i always manifest the best versions of people okay because yeah you deserve to be with your person in the best manner you know where they're caring for you they're giving you the love attention affection that you deserve okay and i feel like they are really hard at like improving their life i really like this discipline card because i'm seeing that um yeah they're making positive changes in their lifestyle okay they're making lifestyle changes which is something they really needed to okay um this person like i feel like was not at times you know the best partner or maybe they were a little bit too stoic or not that like um you know vulnerable with their feelings because we did get the Saturn like discipline energy Saturn just reminds me of like that like stoic like you know um like father figure that like just like you never saw them express any sort of emotion or something like that because Saturn is associated with Capricorn and it's known as like the father figure maybe someone could possibly have some issues with their father or something along the lines of that I'm just picking up on that but if that doesn't resonate don't worry too much but or like there could be like a lot of pressure on them pressure on your person to do well maybe they have a father figure that um they really need to like you know live up to or impress or something along the lines of that uh maybe there's a lot of just stress or pressure on them like this reminds me of draco malfoy and like you know his father um he was like super hard on him and you know he ended up being kind of like a jerk because of that or something along the lines of that yeah um but i am seeing that there is improvement there is positive change happening for sure let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards from this astral realms deck we got trust i love this trust uh palace ammonite okay, i actually don't know what these means uh these means oh my gosh i don't know what these words mean um i'm gonna go ahead and look it up but i love 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 this trust card here okay i love that this says trust and this also has a pearl and i literally just mentioned pearls so wow that's amazing um pearl i'm also seeing like june that's like the birthstone of june someone could have been born in june maybe someone's a like gemini or cancer or has those placements but the situation is calling for you to have trust in it okay have trust that your person will show up the way that you deserve to okay i'm seeing like oh my gosh the spiral fibonacci spiral math maybe someone could be into conspiracy theories i'm getting like nikola tesla um someone could be in like computer science or studied programming or coding or um someone could be in tech someone could be a stem major i'm also picking up on like philosophy and literature majors i just feel like you know the both of you are really smart like i feel like you're a really smart person and your person finds you to be really interesting really intriguing um they're like really like wowed by your knowledge and intellect and everything you have going on for you okay so that's a really great sign here i'm going to go ahead and read what this means here i really want to like tell you what this ammonite and palace mean um, okay, so this is 31. Okay, we got 30 and 31, by the way. So that could be relevant. Maybe someone was born on the 30th or 31st of a month. Okay, I'm also picking up on like January, December, June. Okay, so I'm getting like Capricorn, Gemini energy. We'll, of course, go ahead and pick some more cards. In the extended reading, um, oh yeah, on my Patreon, which you can find in the link in the description box below, we'll go ahead and pick some initials and zodiac signs. But yeah, I really want to read what this card says here with this 31. Um, okay, instinct development wisdom oh my gosh yeah this person does think you're really really smart that's crazy because i picked up on that before i even like read what the definition meant but um the pearl just always reminds me of like the pearl of wisdom okay so um yeah i just feel like someone's really really intellectual here um could be you or them maybe the both of you 
I'm going to read this. Trust is a muscle you must continually exercise. Your subconscious mind may at times hold you back from obtaining something you deeply want or a goal you've had your sights set on accomplishing, which could be because you're ruminating on self-limiting or conflicting beliefs instead of trusting your instincts and intuition. You guys, something I'll tell you, and we're going to talk more about this in the extended reading, is that you have to assume the best of this person, okay? You have to not give in to the old story or limiting beliefs or anything that is stopping you from achieving the life that you want when it comes to um, love and relationships, okay? So yes, you you know, we've all been hurt in the past, but we cannot keep living from that, um, you know, point of view, from that perspective. Oh, I'm always going to get hurt. Oh, I'm always going to be, I always need to be on guard. I always need to be on defense. Um, yeah, you know, I feel like your person is realizing this as well. Like, I feel like someone's definitely getting out of that victim mindset, that victim complex. I feel like your person was kind of in a victim complex, so that's why they might have done whatever they did do if they did something that was a little bit sneaky or underhanded or you felt like they were kind of backstabbing you. And like, you know what this is. Like, I'm not necessarily, like, this is not going to be the same for everyone i feel like for a lot of you your person was loyal but maybe for some of you um they could have like you know been seeking other options but i'm not really seeing any like sort of cheating here unless you know that they did that but if you were wondering like did they cheat on you i'm not seeing that it's just that this person did have trust issues so maybe they sort of like kept their options open a little bit but then they realized like you're it like you're the only one that they want um yeah sometimes you know we just need to like figure out like what it is that we want so you know we can like keep ourselves open to that but i feel like your person is like pretty set on you they're just like i don't want to do um you know i don't want to keep exploring more relationships i feel like i know what i want it's like this person is gaining wisdom this person is realizing you know like i think the power of like celibacy and being with one person and commitment and realizing that like you know um that's the way of life for them like i know some people could be into polyamory you know that that's that's different but like i feel like your person if they were sort of like a player or f boy or something like that or f girl um they're going to be more committal okay they're definitely um, going to come and be more committed i like this discipline okay um it's like this is someone who like knows how to be in a healthy long-term committed relationship and with this trust card it's like it's again the situation is calling you to have trust and faith in it okay like um this person is going to show up and be really trustworthy it's just a matter of you changing the way that you view them um if that is something that you want okay so yeah um so be receptive and enable the asteroid palace which was named after the goddess Pallas athena to bring you the energy of skill wisdom and courage palace a beautiful combination of feminine energy intertwined with the masculine strategic intel intelligence allows your intuitive and creative aspects to rise to the surface do not overthink it sit comfortably with these energies and allow yourself to feel and trust those feelings and vibrations okay so yeah i love this i feel like the both of you balance each other out the whole thing with the feminine and masculine if you're the feminine definitely try to be more in your receptive mode here okay um yeah you know feminine masculine it really has more to do with the energies more than anything else usually i get like the feminine who watches this the feminine energy but if you are the masculine that's watching this um you, you know this is a sign for you to um sort of create that balance with your feminine okay like whoever you are like create that balance um whatever energy like you feel like you're giving off more of um that might you know that might be a sign for you to kind of like take a step back and be like okay i think i might be too much in my masculine if i'm giving more and i'm the feminine i want to receive so then say affirmations that have to do with receiving love you know being able to fully um give and receive love and vice versa for the masculine like i'm able to um give love i'm able to protect provide i'm able to commit you know yeah uh to each their own of course but yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from seasons of the witch these are such different decks wow like you look at this astral realms deck it's like light and airy and has like beautiful pastel colors and like um like a little like rainbow here and then you look at this sort of like dark ominous but very interesting you know like just beautiful like red and black deck here this reminds me of like a blood moon um yeah and also i kind of i quickly wanted to show you like this beautiful golden embossed like let's look at the difference like this is red and that's golden and i just i love like tarot cards oracle cards that have that okay even this other deck that i have um the this is something that i've been using like a lot on my channel i love this deck so much the crystal struck tarot it has that sorry i am an admirer of beauty if you can tell i really love aesthetics and this is a deck that i'm going to be using for you um yeah oh my gosh like okay anyways sorry i don't know what the point of that was but um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and shuffle the cards and see what other messages we have here so these are a little bit like dark okay so this is the celtic pagan oracle deck here so yeah um just letting you know ahead of time uh we got crystals and herbs Oh, what medicine, what sacredness to behold, a dash of healing straight for 
from mother's home really interesting okay i'm gonna go ahead and read what this says i feel like the number 12 could be relevant maybe someone could be seeing 12 12 someone let me know what that angel number means like one two one two um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and read this uh you know what this means crystals and herbs oh what medicine what sacredness to behold a dash of healing straight from from mother's home i like this healing okay already off the bat again this person is going through a lot of healing which totally resonates with that message here of discipline and trust okay like this person is going through some sort of like awakening where i feel like they're um you know like not engaging in certain things that they used to like if this, they're used to like drinking a lot maybe someone like drinks beer or hard alcohol or whiskey or liquor like i'm getting that they're sort of like cutting down on that toning back on that okay so yeah that is something that i am seeing here um let's go ahead and see what this means here okay so okay earth's medicine and healing i also feel like someone is an earth sign here taurus virgo capricorn this card is an allegory for the profound healing that comes from working with the earth's medicine sometimes you have to come back to the basics earth energy maybe someone could be in medicine or the medical field um touching the earth uh getting to know your crystals herbs essential oils uh offering like i feel like someone could be you know making some sort of offering here someone could be religious or someone's like just really leveling up spiritually invite earth healing into your life in whatever way feels right to you as the earth is here for you but like your guides mother nature needs an invitation okay this is really interesting i feel like someone could collect a lot of plants someone does have crystals herbs i feel like you had a really healing vibe on this person i feel like for a lot of you if you are the feminine um i, I feel like you you know just gave that sort of like maternal vibe to your person if that makes sense i definitely am seeing like some sort of like parental influence like influencing this connection okay like i feel like maybe your person like if you are asking about a man maybe this person could have had like issues with their maternal figure so that's why they seek like mom and other people okay and i'm not saying that in like a weird way like sometimes that happens okay or someone could have like you know quote unquote like daddy issues and like i'm not saying that in a mean way again i'm sorry if that offends anyone but i just feel like that's something that i'm picking up on okay Okay. um but i just feel like if that even if that's not the case even if this person has a great relationship with their mother um then i feel like they they just see you as this kind caring like compassionate like just amazing wise person that maybe reminds them of that okay so it's like sometimes like if you have a good relationship with your parents like you will still you know attract people that sort of like have those same qualities and if you don't like you'll look for like that parental healing in others okay like i mean it, it really varies okay i'm not i'm not a therapist i really shouldn't like you know just take this with a grain of salt here but i just feel like this person admires you and they're really thankful for all you've done for them because you really do have like healing powers within you okay you help this person heal through something you were a very 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 important and pivotal part of this person's life and you still are you still are okay and i feel like this person is going to tell you that 100% you are you were and are very important to this person and very special to this person it's, uh, that this reminds me of a client that I had I do manifestation coaching and I'm definitely gonna make a video of this this is like one of the best manifestation stories I've had in a while and I'm so excited to share that I still have to film it but my client basically sent me an email saying that like her SP her specific person quite literally confessed to her that she was a special person in his life and that like she really like played a big part in his life like they were they met at a certain time where like he needed some healing and like she really helped him through that and she kind of like changed his life and it was such an endearing story and he he admitted all that to her like this was like the most stoic person you know going back to this saturn discipline healing card but it's like he was able to open up to her and be vulnerable for like the first time in like you know years or like months and she was just like wow and she's just like oh my god affirmations manifestation does work so yeah i like i highly recommend that you know um you check out like the sp guide that i have on etsy that will really help with that and then of course i'm going to be picking some affirmation cards to see what you can be affirming to get your desires okay uh yeah we also got the coming of winter very interesting i also feel like someone could have darkish hair or reddish hair someone could even have blonde hair maybe want like maybe you have different hair colors or slightly different hair colors 
um, it doesn't have to be the case, but something I'm picking up on. It comes in lullabies deep within your mirrored flesh. Alas, it is time to lay your quivering chest upon the winter's coming. Because I feel like it could be getting cold wherever you are. I'm personally in the northern hemisphere and the west, like northwestern hemisphere. Yes, I mean, if you're in the northern hemisphere, like it is starting to get colder. Fall is coming, but this is like, you know, coming in winter. Seeing like pumpkin patches and like, you know, summer. I'm getting excited about Halloween. This is a timeless reading, um, but I mean, yeah, the season of the witch deck totally makes sense. I'm so glad that I got it. But this is a timeless reading, but I feel like maybe it could be getting colder where you are. Um, but let's go ahead and see what this coming in winter means. Um, oh my gosh, it's getting dark so early. I swear there's so much sunlight literally half an hour ago and it's like the sun has already set and it's literally like 7 10 p.m right now um okay let's go ahead and see what this means here 11 okay i like that number 11 and 12 wow we got like um okay we got like 30 and 31 11 and 12 maybe there's like a year difference maybe this person is a year older or younger than you or like there's not that much of an age gap that's what i'm seeing maybe the both of you sort of like are in like the same generation or like you kind of understand like you know like you know when you're in the same generation like you understand their like humor a little bit better than like let's say like gen z and like a boomer or gen z or like gen x like you know there's a little bit of a difference there like a millennial and gen z yeah i feel like the both of you are like part of the same generation and it doesn't have to be the case um I feel like if even if that's not like you understand each other really well like despite the age gap but yeah i'm just seeing like proximity in some way shape or form but okay uh let's go ahead and see what this says the outside world can seem a cold and distant place it can be tough to navigate the trail buried beneath the snow it is hard to feed your soul when your surroundings offer little little nourishment okay that's the thing your person is going through it okay their surroundings have like no nourishment like i mean like they're not being nourished they're not growing they're not being challenged they're not being like taken care of right now if they are with someone else or even if they're alone i just feel like they're going through it they're going through some sort of dark night of the soul here and it's just like it's not it's not fun like they're like sad and like cold and just like you know they're, they're just stuck they feel so stuck uh where they are right now yeah um in the dead of winter it can be beautiful still peaceful blisteringly cold unforgiving changeable but there's there is but one thing to do when the winter storms come blowing seek shelter to rest recharge and reflect that's exactly what your person is doing right now they're taking some time to do all of that introspection reflection um resting meditation okay i feel like they have gone through a lot okay like they have gone through like some of the worst times recently and it's like if they have not reached out to you that's because they're like struggling right now and they know that if they were to reach out to you they would be a burden to you and they don't want to do that like they are quite literally always presenting the best versions of themselves to you or they want to do that i feel like you have seen their shadow side or you can kind of figure out what their shadow side is um yeah i feel like you know you're really smart you're really intuitive and you can tell like what's wrong with someone or like not wrong but it's like if a person's acting a certain way maybe a lot of you have taken enough psychology to know like or like read about read up about psychology to know like what is the deeper underlying meaning here of their you know behind their actions okay but i'm also seeing like don't overthink it okay yeah your person definitely does need healing but you can see them as someone who's already healed someone who's already you know like ready to commit to right now ready to like come forward okay but yeah there is a little bit of healing that needs to take place but the good part is that i'm seeing that it is taking place i'm seeing that like they really 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 do care about you and they respect you so much there's so much mutual respect between the both of you here okay yeah um i just feel like you know this person like they need some time to themselves i feel like you can only help others as much as they want to help themselves right so that's yeah i, I feel like for a lot of you uh just give your person a little bit of space they definitely will come back like winter's coming i feel like they're coming back as well okay it could happen way before winter but i'm seeing like this these next couple months are going to be very pivotal for you so whatever you're doing keep doing it in terms of affirming in terms of like you know just manifesting because your person is getting your thoughts thoughts transmission is 100 real whatever you're thinking your person is thinking as well but yeah there's a lot of um motivation to be with you there's a lot of love here okay that never stopped um yeah just some healing and discipline and introspection going on on your person's part but i really do see them coming back coming of winter like oh my gosh 100 okay uh we got the nine of wands test of strength perseverance yeah so your person is going to persevere through um these obstacles that they're going through right now i feel like for a lot of you this is also a sign for you to persevere through you know whatever it could be like 
holding you back right now with you know, going back to the limiting beliefs, whatever it could be holding you back in relationships. In fact, if you are in separation from your person now is a great time to think about what you want in this connection, to think about what it is that you want to experience in this connection with your person. What was going right? What wasn't going right? Anything that wasn't going right, flip the script, switch it, okay? Um, oh, my person was being a little bit flighty or they were being a little bit like, you know, um, on and off or they weren't being consistent, okay? Like you literally have to like write your own story and say like, nope, they're always gonna be consistent. Nope, they're always coming back to me. They're always, um, you know, talking to me, communicating me, texting me, calling me, okay? So yeah, I feel like this is like a test of strength of your manifestation abilities, but in terms of this connection i feel like you're the both of you are going to persevere through this and the both of you are going to make it out to the end together okay so that's amazing we got the ace of rings okay i'm getting like sagittarius vibes i'm also getting earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn um recognition success ace of rings okay ace of pentacles i feel like this person is going to come forward and make you an offer okay they they want this to be like a stable relationship like they what, what do you call it they want to lay a strong foundation for this connection because they really care about you. They want success with you, okay? Like, I feel like they can do something to gain your attention. Um, it's really interesting because, like, I had another client and I posted this um, on my channel in the Law of Assumption playlist about, like, how her SP was uh, visiting her city. And it's like they hadn't followed each other on Instagram, but she blocked him she deleted him but like she unblocked him but like basically they just were not following each other on instagram then he like ended up adding her again and on his bio he wrote visiting blank city from blank to blank like he wrote like a date like you know um from like something to some i, I forgot the date but like september 3rd to like september something um yeah which is like weird because like no not that many people have that in their bio and he was doing that to gain her attention so she knew that he would be visiting her city but he also wasn't sure whether or not like you know she would be like open to like seeing him because like he knew that she blocked him and um he just was not sure but he did that to gain her attention so i feel like your person's going to do something to gain your attention okay i feel like if you've been thinking about them a lot energetically they are already doing things to gain your attention they're like quite literally thinking about you right now we also got the king of rings i love that responsibility abundance okay so your person really 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 wants to treat you they want to spoil you they're coming back to the best version of themselves pile one this is an amazing amazing reading i love this i haven't even filmed other piles but this is looking really really promising your person is ready to commit to you your person is ready to give you that stability that you want, that title. They wanna like show you off, okay? I feel like this person can be a little bit low key cause yeah, we got a lot of like, you know, earthy energy and like that just speaks to like, you know, being a little bit more low key, but that doesn't mean like, you know, they haven't talked about you to other people. I mean like they really like you, they really admire you, they really care about you so much, okay? And like, I feel like they're gonna give you the abundance that you so rightfully deserve, okay? This person is definitely coming back a much better, newer, improved version of themselves. I feel like this person is dedicated to um, being a better version of themselves, which is big cause they needed that okay i feel like they were going down like a pretty like downhill path because of everything that they've been through like they've definitely made like wrong decisions um you know in the past and now i feel like something like traumatic could have happened to them in like the last couple of months or maybe like uh, maybe like trauma from like before those months from the years that kind of just added up and built up and your person realized that they need like you know some space like they need some like space to really heal from this and they're just like yeah, i cannot keep going this way i have to change my mindset i have to change my brain and like they are really really focusing on personal development and um leveling themselves which is big because sometimes in readings we get that oh they're still stuck in their old ways they're not like you know doing anything to really make a change and i this is a really really good sign that your person is doing that part one okay so yeah I, I love that for you let's go ahead and pick a couple of love oracle cards okay to see what other messages your person has we got i'm scared here moving on yeah this person definitely is scared that like you know um you might not be there when they come back and it's up to you whether or not you want to take them back but i really do feel like for a lot of you they are coming back a better version of themselves but um they are really scared that you might end up with someone else and um i feel like at times like they sort of like not like gave up on this connection but like at times they're just like yeah this person does deserve better i wouldn't be surprised if they found better like that's what they thought about you and like yeah this is something i'm seeing here um they were a little bit you know but while they were scared that you were moving on at the end of the day they do want the best for you yeah but we got my intentions are pure that's the thing i feel like your person just wants you to be happy no matter who you're with whether it's with them or someone else like this is a like this is a good person pal one okay unless you don't think they are like i'm seeing like this is a good energy here like your person's not trying to hurt you they're not trying to play you they're not trying to play games with you i don't think this person like played you if they did they were just like in it wasn't on purpose like they were not like you know trying to manipulate you in any way that's not how they work that's not how they function they literally 
literally just want love and they just want to be loved okay i really do feel like this person's intentions are pure oh my god i'm in love with you that's amazing oh my gosh do i even need to explain this card they are in love with you they love you they're in love with you they want to commit to you this also reminds me of that same story um my s like my client got her sp to tell her that he loves her okay and that's a big deal that he likes her and that he always has liked her and always had feelings for her oh my gosh like, this is amazing i feel like the energy in the air is just so amazing so if you're watching this i'm manifesting that you get your sps your specific person your you know whatever whoever you want to be with because i love this energy so much pal one okay um if you want to know more about how to manifest this person um and you know just if you want to see what initials and descriptions and um, more love oracle cards check out the extended reading okay that's gonna be on my patreon it will be in the link in the description box below um i also do offer in-depth video readings as well as manifestation coaching i also have a guide out on my etsy that you can use to manifest and i also custom make subliminals that will help you manifest and yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and end the reading right here but you can also go ahead and pick cards from other piles okay so quite literally just cherry pick whatever resonates for you you can pick from multiple piles and yeah okay um i will go ahead and end the reading right here thank you so much love and light hi pile two welcome to your reading we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection how is your person currently feeling about you what would they say to you and more okay we're gonna start off your reading by picking cards from this beautiful astral realms oracle deck okay so yeah let's go ahead and see what the general energy is okay how is your person currently feeling um okay so as i lay out these cards i really do want you to know that um this is just based on the current energy so things can always change or expedite okay and you can also check at other piles and i also do want to give a shout out to keen for sponsoring this video so keen is a psychic network where um or it's a network of psychic advisors where you can um, go to them to seek any sort of spiritual guidance. I've personally used it myself and I absolutely love it. You can use my code for a discount. Um, I believe it is $10 for $1.99, which is a really, really good price for a whole, you know, tarot reading or spiritual, um, you know, slash like energy channeling type reading. So that's really great. Okay. Um, I personally do vouch for the service. I'm not personally on there. Sometimes I get that question. I'm not a psychic advisor on Keen, but um i have used the service and i've met some great really empathetic kind caring like you know highly sensitive advisors so if like you're kind of like that as well you know definitely do recommend this website and yeah okay uh without further ado let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna go ahead and interpret these cards okay channel your person's energy we got resolve direction and insight oh my gosh i love this this is looking so 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 positive for you pile two i feel like this person has gotten insight into what direction they want to take in this connection okay they've come to some sort of resolution as to um what to do about this connection because the feelings are there okay you never had to doubt your person's feelings for you i feel like maybe at times you thought that this person just lost their feelings for you or something like that that's not the case at all okay that's not the case at all this person has like had feelings for you forever and they're always gonna have feelings for you like no matter what okay um this is so crazy but like this reminds me of this uh story that my client told me so i also do manifestation coaching check out my website for that if you are interested in signing up for manifestation coaching but i had a client who quite literally told me that like she reconnected with their sp after like months of not seeing each other in person like they'd kept in touch but they never really talked about their feelings for each other um and they ended up reconnecting and he told her that he still liked her that he still loved her like i'm still like um like head over heels or like just on the moon about this story like it's crazy it's crazy how that ended up happening for her and like she thought that it was over she thought that he doesn't even like think about her or care about her but he quite literally told her like, like listen i still like you i still care about you and um yeah like she said that she watched one of my one of my readings where i said that in like a previous reading and she just like she kind of took it with a grain of salt like okay yeah but it ended up happening and he actually confessed his feelings for her i'm gonna be like uploading a video of that very soon i still have to film it but it's like one of the most amazing manifestation stories that i've heard of till date so this is yeah i'm, I'm so excited for you pile too because i feel like that same energy is um coming up in this reading i feel like your person still cares about you they're still into you okay even if it's been months even if it's been years without talking i feel like when your person sees you or when they talk to you the feelings are just going to come flooding back and like usually when feelings come flooding back that means they never really left like if you can just look at someone and have like zero feelings for them like that's 
that means you either never really liked them or they just said you just ended up losing feelings but i'm not seeing that they did that i'm seeing like if they were to see you right now like they would literally be making like hard eyes okay insert that hard eye quote um or sorry emoji yeah <clears throat> Okay, so I love this. I love that your person is finally gaining direction as to, you know, what to do about this connection, where to go. This is like super seven and this is associated with the number 20. We got 20, 19, 32. That could be relevant in some way. 32 adds up to five. We got two. This adds up to 10, which adds up to one. So some of these numbers could be relevant. Maybe someone was born on these days or something could be happening during the 19th or 20th of a month. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like this is just so amazing, so positive. I, I really want to see what this says here okay um i'll reach a star i think i want to go ahead and read like what this means okay because this deck is super new to me i haven't even had a chance to look over it but i was so excited to be using this deck for you um okay yeah let's there it is oh my gosh my cards are all over the place okay i feel like the energy has been a little bit all over the place for you pal too um you kind of like just at times didn't know where you stood with this person um they kind of didn't even know what was going on in their own life, in their own love life. I feel like they, they were lacking a little bit of direction, but they have been gaining insight as to what they want to do. And they realize it's you. They realize they really, really want a future with you, okay? Um, oh my gosh, I love this. So the Alrisha star, uh, this is all about <clears throat> where is your true north? We are all in search of what sets our souls on fire. A way to find your spiritual direction is to go through the shamanic medicine wheel. Um yeah this also means transformation lessons okay so to the east is where you feel success and experience victories to the north is where you will learn survival and where you will experience hardship and sadness to the west you will experience transformation and the end of a cycle to south you will receive abundance and learn lessons about your courage and strength okay so i feel like someone is someone else's north star like you set their soul on fire i feel like um you know if you ever look to the stars and you think about this person or you see their constellation or something this person is thinking about you at that very moment okay yeah this person oh my gosh like i feel like this person has such deep feelings for you like you definitely do have this telepathic connection with each other um you are connected in the 5d which i feel like is reflective of um you know where you are in the 3d or it reflects like what happens in the 3d like my point is like even if you're not together in the 3d you have such a deep telepathic spiritual connection that you can feel this person's energy and anytime you look at the moon or like think of your person i feel like your person's also looking at the moon at that exact same same time okay yeah i'm getting like pisces placements like jupiter placements like sagittarius um i'm getting like fire and water sign energy coming in okay um this desert jasper maybe someone lives near the desert or someone lives in a pretty like hot like area like i'm seeing like you know la or san diego or um arizona or i'm even getting like florida and miami it is hot but like more like humid but <clears throat> I feel like this person lives near the beach or near a desert. I'm seeing like Utah or like the Pacific Northwest. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Like my throat chakra. I don't know what's going on. It was fine the entire day. But wow. Okay that's just a couple of spiritual downloads that i'm getting do check out the extended reading which will be on my patreon which will be in the description box below it's going to be on my website where we'll pick initials as well as zodiac signs and just more insights as to like you know who this person is like what's going to happen and we're also going to be picking affirmation cards to see how you can manifest this person how you can bring about this person into your life okay the way that you want them to be so yeah i really really love that wow okay um i'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from this deck here this is a celtic pagan deck which i have really been loving like can we just admire how beautiful the red and boss sides are like oh i love it so much okay um i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the cards i yeah okay it's called seasons of the witch this is so appropriate because i'm like filming this in the middle of september it's like almost october september is basically halloween month okay september 1st is when like fall and halloween season starts okay yeah um anyways we got greet the darkness 19 we got a lot of 19 energy wow okay 19 adds up to 10 which adds up to one okay so one ten nineteen something relevant could be happening on those days or someone was born on those days um one of those days yeah here where the spine bends and the mouth quivers breathes the hidden breathes the hidden the pieces that make you whole but cut deep with all their sharp edges oh my gosh i love this okay uh wow like this is like dark but like also like weirdly comforting at the same time like because i was looking at this and i was looking at this deck and oh my gosh these two decks are so 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 contrasting like there's a reason why i did this like i just love the juxtaposition like the juxtaposition here is a whole mood okay seasons of the witch astral realm like look at the aesthetic um of this just you know feel the energy of it, it they're so different but 
<clears throat> nonetheless the messages are both you know the messages from all these cards are um just as valid as the other and um yeah let, let's go ahead and see what this means greet the darkness so i feel like someone definitely did have a dark soul of the night i feel like um when you and this person went through some sort of separation if that is something that happened the both of you went through it and like this person really really went through it like i mean they were sad they were sad to see how things ended up um like happening in their life after like they broke up because i feel like they thought maybe it wasn't going to impact them as much but it ended up impacting them a lot more than they thought and like they didn't like i don't mean that like in a mean way like you didn't mean anything to them but it's just like this person was not expecting to fall for you as hard as they did because coming into this i feel like they'd kind of even like given up on love they're just like oh yeah whatever like you know let's just see like what happens let, let, let's just go on a date with this person see what happens and boom like from the first date there was an initial like instant connection instant attraction the both of you vibed so well from the start okay but for some of you i am seeing that maybe you didn't even like this person that much in the beginning or like maybe it took some time for you to warm up to them but i feel like they were into you from the start okay and they still are yeah okay but let's go ahead and see what this means greet the darkness um i feel like you help them come out of some kind of darkness you help them like through something okay this is self and inner truth um darkness you might get a sense of terror from what you can't see but not all hidden things are bad i like this because i feel like this person might have kept secrets from you or like maybe they weren't really as vocal about you know what they wanted in life or like just where they wanted this to go or like they just like you you wish that they did or said more but and they did definitely keep secrets but these secrets weren't bad in fact i feel like they were being secretive of how much they truly liked you how much they truly loved you how like deeply like you know invested they were and still are in this connection okay yeah but um let's see what the rest of this says there many things that you cannot see that hold a secret to life abundance and renewal okay this already tells me that there's so much movement happening in the 3d okay or behind the scenes in the 5d that will manifest in the 3d okay so there's a lot of movement happening like in the darkness i'm sort of seeing darkness as like a otherworldly realm i'm seeing like darkness as a whole realm in itself like there's so much happening that like you just you know you might not be able to see that in your real life and that could be discouraging you or like demotivating you but like don't take that you know don't don't take it as it is like what you see is not always what you get because if you think about it like think of like being in the pitch black like there's so much movement happening you can't see but that doesn't mean you're not moving right like just because it's dark doesn't mean like people aren't like moving or like moving their arms like this reminds me of like a battery like i don't know if you've ever been to a battery or like in a cave but it's like it's pitch black and like there's this like team building activity that we had to do where we had to like find each other and like you know like help each other get out of it and it was like, i mean of course there were flashlights in case anyone was like too scared but it's like my point is like there's always movement going on like people were like trying to you know figure out like how to communicate with each communicate with each other like even as humans um you know our eyesight tends to like adapt to the dark like not as well as like nocturnal animals of course but it's like you know if, if we can't see like other aspects of our um like you know other senses will become more heightened anyways like i digress but my point is like there's a lot of movement happening behind the scenes in terms of this person wanting to come to you and confess their feelings for you okay yeah i feel like this person has been cut deep before okay like this says cut deep this person has been hurt i feel like this person has been with someone who like cheated on them or like treated them like not so well and they were left in the darkness because of that like they went through the dark night of soul in past relationships that's why when they met you like uh, they were just like they, they were still a little bit hurt when they met you i feel like they weren't like maybe in the beginning they weren't that emotionally open but like you helped them open up like you literally opened up their heart chakra and they ended up having like really 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 deep feelings for you and they were like kind of astounded like wow i was not expecting this to happen because i feel like you came at such an unexpected time in their life and they were just like oh my gosh like i was not not expecting this at all yeah i'm seeing like 2020 or 2019 maybe during um doesn't have to be the case maybe one or yeah maybe like even this year but yeah either way like it doesn't matter how long it's been like this person has been thinking about you since day one okay and that's a big deal because i don't feel like this person like simps over everyone the way that they simp over you maybe like you feel like oh this person just has a crush on everyone they're just into everyone maybe if, like they're following a bunch of people like that's not the case at all okay i feel like this person like they just want you um yeah let's go ahead and pick some more cards we got grief yeah <gasps> 19 and 20 again that is insane pile two i don't know what's going on and i shuffle this deck really well yeah see the next card here is seven it's not like i didn't shuffle it well we got like seven we got 38 we got yeah um what's this number i can't even read it uh 
40 yeah like see it's like all over the place that's so insane okay um i love this but okay i'm just gonna go ahead and pick this card i wasn't going to okay i'll, I'll pick it later so that it'll be in the view but we got grief here 20 it is but a mere glimpse of nothingness hidden away deep within the chambers of your morning in the red clovers birthing lost illusion oh my gosh these are so poetic and deep like honestly like even i have to like read this a couple times to understand like what is it even saying but let's go ahead and see what this means um I, when i say go ahead i'm like literally looking at the guidebook right now because i want to tell you like the right meaning um mourning loss i feel like this person definitely did mourn the loss of this relationship but what i'm seeing is that they still kind of kept you within like the vicinity or like they, maybe they were at a distance at times but my point is like they didn't completely cut you off or they would come back multiple times i do feel like this person has come back before and if they can do that like they can do that again okay i feel like this person is the type of person to go back to their exes and um i feel like if this is your ex like they're definitely coming back even if it's been an on and off thing like it's not over it's like never fully over yeah oh my gosh that reminds me of that song it's never really over uh, i forgot who it's by but yeah i just channeled that um but yeah i feel like this person couldn't even like properly mourn the loss of this connection because they just never wanted to let you go and i feel like maybe like they just kind of like stopped talking or they drifted away or you drifted apart like i don't feel like there was a, like an official breakup if that makes sense for some of you for some of you maybe there was but i just feel like they've still been in your energetic sphere okay or like they still like came back to you or they would still find excuses to talk to you or like you know stay connected to you because i really feel like this person at one point thought that you were the one and i feel like they still are thinking that because i feel like maybe if you were in separation they could have dated other people like i'm not telling you something you already don't know but if they did like they realized that they didn't want anyone else the way that they wanted you so that's a really big deal yeah um okay i'm gonna go ahead and read this grief is the uncomfortable dance between feeling everything and feeling nothing okay i feel like this could even be reflective of your energy a little bit like at times like you just felt so deeply for this person but at times you just felt so detached like you're just like yeah whatever but then you went back to feeling like you wanted this person again like um yeah i feel like the feelings never really left between the both of you and i feel like that's how it was with this person as well or maybe you thought that's how it was with this person like um but this person has always had feelings for you but maybe even at times like i feel like this person is just kind of able to detach and like um like you know go back in again like i'm getting like aquarius vibes maybe someone could have an aquarius venus or moon or something or aquarius placements because that reminds me of the water bearer and the water bearer it's like they have it, okay it's really interesting how this plays out i'm just gonna give you a quick zodiac lesson so you know how pisces is the fish i am also channeling pisces energy um like fish are always like in water right like they literally cannot not be in water um and yeah right before that is aquarius and the aquarius is the water bearer like as in it it's you, they usually picture a woman like holding a jug of water or a cup of water like a bag of water something right um so it's like with aquarius it's like they do have the ability to feel things really deeply and be emotional because like aquarius like aqua like they, they can almost be an honorary water sign but they also have the ability to detach and flip the switch just like that so it's like they do carry the water but they're able to decide whether or not they want to dip into the water whether or not they want to dip their like fingers into the water um so it's like you know they are very emotionally intelligent in that sense whereas like pisces you know they feel everything they like it's this is i guess just like a one theory or like one way of interpreting the zodiac wheel maybe not everyone believes in this but it's like pisces sort of has the wisdom of all the signs before it but it also has accumulated all the emotions of all the signs before it because it's the 12th and last sign of the zodiac wheel yeah and aquarius is the 11th sign like right before that so it's like aquarius can choose whether or not to dump that all onto pisces okay so like i just feel like there's there's something like that going on here like they feel a lot at times but like at times they can like just completely detach but again that doesn't mean they don't feel it because at the end of the day even the water bear like they still have the water within them like they still have feelings for you okay yeah but that was just really interesting this is something that reminded me of that um okay uh yeah like i don't know if i want to read the rest of this I, I feel like this says like everything already i just feel like this person like um you know they can be lost in their own like reality because this is lost illusion maybe someone has like pisces or 12th house placement someone can just like daydream and be lost in their own emotion or like live in their head a lot um but like they have deep feelings for you they are a really deep person okay i feel like th you and them like the depth the depth that you invoked within each other that's not something that everyone has been able to do to this person or with this person okay and you as well i don't think you've liked like every single person or loved every single person you dated i mean if that is the case that's okay too but yeah like i just feel like there is something genuinely very special with this person and it's not just in your head okay like you're not crazy for still watching readings on this person because this person loves you too so yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some tarot cards 
Actually, I wanted to quickly introduce this black cat. We got the number seven. There's a curious journey into the depths of the unknown, hidden so deep that only the brave will gracefully return with light in their eyes and shadow leaning home. Okay, I love this. Um, I feel like you feel like home to this person, okay? Maybe this person thinks you're like a witch or like they, they know that you're into spirituality and like they love that about you. Maybe they thought it was like a little quirk that you had, but like they just like really admire that like, you know, you have all this stuff going on. And I just feel like someone in this connection is really spiritual and really deep. And I feel like if that's you, like this person kind of wants to learn a bit more about it. If they're not spiritual but like they just find you to be really interesting and intriguing and um yeah like you sort of like help them journey into the depths of the unknown of themselves like you really like invoke something deeper within themselves i feel like they were able to access these deeper feelings that um you know they had within them but for you because everyone has that like if you think about it like that's that, that's one way to look at love it's like everyone does have depth everyone is capable of depth but there's only certain people that really bring that out in people and you help them access that part of themselves okay you help them become more emotionally open because i don't feel like this person was emotionally open for a very long time um i feel like you know either you were like the second or third person that like they dated after like this one major breakup that they had or maybe like you were I, I just feel like there was some time between like their last like major heartbreak and you and it's like between you, you and that person that they got their heart broken from like there were a couple of people that they just didn't feel anything for and like that's why when they came into this relationship they were just like okay yeah well it's been a while since I felt something for someone for anyone since I felt anything ever but then you were able to invoke that within them and they're just like wait wow I was not expecting to feel that way in fact I do feel like if you were ever quote-unquote the rebound like you help people get over their exes and like they ended up like people end up really falling for you I feel like like man women like just all your exes are still really into you have that within you where like people are just like head over heels in love with you like and that's not the case for everyone okay i just feel like you are that person like who helps other people access the depth within themselves and that's why people fall really hard for you and they stay in love with you too so that is something that i'm seeing here with this black cat i love this reading pal too oh my gosh like just the energy that i'm getting from this like i'm like overwhelmed but in the best way possible and it's just like these messages are just coming so naturally to me like i'm not like having to like force myself to find a message for you so like, that's like a really big deal yeah okay this card came out like it just like literally fell out so i'm gonna start off with this this is like a tarot card a new tarot deck that i'm gonna be using <gasps> oh my gosh page of cups yeah what am i saying a lot of pisces energy here okay this person loves you they're definitely into you i feel like this relationship never really took off okay or it didn't like go to where you wanted it to go to okay i feel like with this page of cups like they like they ended up having feelings for you like really fast and really strong like from the beginning um but it's like maybe you never got to that stage where you were like official or like you took that next step i feel like something happened maybe like distance came in between the both of you or um you know just just something happened but like now this person knows deep down that it's that it's you like they're just like yeah i don't want anyone else like i want this person um but something happened that caused some sort of separation between the both of you but their feelings never left ever 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 okay i feel like this person is a really sensitive person or they do have that sensitive side to themselves which um they're going to be showing you a lot more of okay and we're going to be picking cards in the like extended reading to see like what you can do to invoke that and or just what affirmations you can be using here here. um yeah i feel like this is like there's gonna be a renewal of love here i know this is new love but it's like this person is gonna like come back a much different and better version of themselves and they've been sending you intuitive messages like they are into like they are yeah i mean they're head over heels in love with you they definitely dream about you a lot they fantasize about you a lot as well okay i mean oh my gosh i love this energy so beautiful we got the fool yeah so i feel like this person definitely wants to start afresh okay they want to start something new with you uh new beginnings i love this because i'm seeing like renewed energy coming in here which is something that i feel like you both really needed in this connection i feel like you've really been working on yourself maybe you're into manifestation like law of assumption or whatever law that you're into like you know law of whatever yeah but my point is like you've been working on yourself you've been working on your personal development i feel like this person has been doing that as well they have also been like focusing on like improving aspects of their life maybe someone is like focused on health they're working out maybe someone likes gymming a lot or like, yeah going to the gym working out but i feel like this person is really really passionate about you but at the same time they also have feelings but again like this just never took off the way that you wanted it to okay so there's a lot more that you have to explore there's definitely unfinished business in this connection there's a reason why you're still thinking of this person and like i said watching this reading i feel like this person did come back around once twice or a couple of times and there's a reason why they keep coming back around i feel like the universe wants you to explore this connection on a deeper level okay we got the ace of wands okay yeah definitely getting fire energy aries leo sagittarius uh definitely pisces energy i'm getting some earth energy as well because this is like earth so yeah, i'm getting like taurus energy taurus virgo energy 
um ace of wands here so this is all about a new beginning okay like uh th this person wants to start fresh like this person really wants to like explore this connection because it th there's so much potential here there's so much potential here for like um it to grow into like something deeper and like i feel like this person already has deep feelings for you but it's like they can like never stop like getting to know you and like they just like they they love you so much they're really really into you and they're coming forward okay they're, they're gonna come forward and let you know that um at the bottom of this deck we had the ace of swords so many new beginnings wow okay air sign energy aquarius libra gemini as well okay like i feel like this person has gained a lot of like clarity about this connection and they had a breakthrough or a couple of breakthroughs about like what they really want in their love life and i feel like you know um yeah that they really want this to be successful i feel like this is also someone that's really smart or has a sharp mind i feel like this person also feels like you're really really smart and that um they really love that about you okay they're they're like really like into you holistically like not just your external characteristics like not just on the surface level not just like your physicalities but just like who you are as a person and that's a really big deal so that is amazing i absolutely love that for you um okay yeah let's go ahead and pick a couple more tarot cards and then we'll go ahead and pick some love oracle cards and then we'll pick more in um the extended reading as well Ooh, i love this we got the sun and this is so positive getting some leo energy in here okay so there's definitely better and brighter days ahead in this connection you haven't even like experienced the best days in this connection just yet i feel like a lot of you could be like um nostalgic about the time that you spent with this person i feel like this person also reminisces upon the times that you spent together but like the best days of this connection are yet to happen you guys i'm seeing like marriage okay i'm seeing that you're literally gonna marry this person like if, if that is something that you want um pile i think you're like the winner pile like i used to do that a lot like what's the winner pile? i haven't i haven't even filmed pile three yet maybe that will also be a winner pile. you can check that out i don't even know but yeah pile two i love the energy here love it okay a lot of great things are coming in for you uh like for this in this connection okay they're coming for you in this connection see i can't even talk properly i'm just like so excited like i'm hyped i have not had any caffeine like i just feel like i'm like channeling this person's love for you their energy towards you okay and oh my gosh like they are into they're so passionate about you like i love the fire energy that we're getting here like we're they're just so ready to like commit to you they're ready to like be in this okay um yeah like holistically like fully okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some love oracle cards to see what other messages we have <gasps> i will be back yeah reconciliation is definitely in the cards for you okay my intentions are pure i love that i don't think this person ever tried to like hurt you or play you like they would never do that like they're they're too into you to do that uh they're hoping that you don't forget about them okay like seriously like they would like lose it like they would like be heartbroken if like you were to like completely move on um or like if they saw you get married to someone else like they would like they would not recover from that um we got i secretly admire you yes i feel like this person admires you so much but they've kept that a bit of a secret like they definitely have more opening up that they need to do i am falling in love this person is falling really 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 hard for you okay like they literally do not want anyone else like i they're they're into you 100 so yeah okay that is what we got for you pile two um i really hope this helped again check out the extended reading um on my patreon if you want to like hear more about like what cards or what manifestations oh my gosh what affirmations you can be saying to manifest this person we'll be picking initials as well as zodiac signs and more love oracle cards and yeah i will go ahead and end the reading right here i also do want to let you know that i offer one-on-one -on -one manifestation coaching i have a guide out on my etsy that will help you manifest the love of your dream whether that be a specific person soulmate love or anything else or like a new love um i also custom make subliminals and i also do in-depth tarot readings so if you're interested in that check out the description box below where you can sign up for that and yeah i will see you all next time thank you so much love and light hi pile three welcome to your reading we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection how is your person currently feeling about you what would they say to you and more um let me actually go ahead and get the deck i accidentally left it on my other table one sec okay i am back but yeah welcome to your reading as i pick out the cards i do want to give a huge shout out to keen for sponsoring this video okay um for yeah sponsoring this reading keen is a network of trusted psychic advisors who will help you gain any sort of clarity on questions you may have you know if you need any spiritual guidance on anything um keen is the place to go 
Uh, I have personally used Keen and I love it, okay? Uh, anytime I had like, you know, some pressing questions that I just needed a little bit more clarity on, I did seek Keen services. I'm not actually a psychic advisor on there. I think some people thought that I'm not on Keen personally, but if you do use my code, which will be in the description box below, um, it'll be in the website as well, um, you can get 10 minutes of talking time for $1.99. Like that is really good. You're, you're basically going to get like a reading um for like a dollar 99 for 10 minutes so that's yeah it's something i think that's a really good deal and you should hop on that if you are interested i also do want to let you know that i have a patreon where you can um watch the extended reading of this reading where we'll pick affirmations to see what you can be saying and doing to manifest your person so yeah um here are the cards that we have here so far we got intuition discipline and empathy wow okay i feel like you are dealing with someone who is really empathetic who is sensitive who is like a deep caring kind soul maybe at times they don't show that or like they're not super like vocal or expressive about it but i am seeing that this person finds you to be like really um like empathetic as well and like there's a reason why you connected i feel like the both of you had some similarities in that sense like the both of you just vibe together so well because of that and i feel like the both of you are really intuitive like this person is definitely thinking of you when you're thinking of them so if you find yourself thinking about them for no reason at all it literally could could be because they're thinking of you i also feel like you know this person right now they're working on being a little bit more disciplined gaining a little bit more control over their life i feel like um something happened to them in like the recent months that kind kind of made them reevaluate and contemplate like everything and it, it was kind of hard on them like whatever happened maybe they kind of opened up to you about it or like you kind of know what's going on maybe if you're like lurking or something or maybe like um you were able to figure it out telepathically i feel like you are connected so it's like if you randomly like feel like there's a, a psychic attack on you or you just like felt like your energy was kind of all over the place um that's that's it that's the reason why okay like there's something that happened to your person that like kind of made them reevaluate everything and yeah i'm also seeing that this person really like i mean they really 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 like care about you so much to the point where like they want to change for you when they like before they come back and i like before they come back i don't even say if like i really do feel like they are coming back for a lot of you um pile three okay but like they need to go through some major changes before that can happen because i do feel like this person is really empathetic and sensitive um but this person takes like their love life really seriously like i don't feel like you know they've they haven't okay they haven't loved more than like a couple of people i feel like you're the only person that they ever had like true deep feelings for but i'm seeing like um they were really falling in love with you but something happened which caused you to like sort of drift apart or maybe they drifted apart because they were falling in love with you because they were so like um encapsulated and enticed by you and your energy i mean like seriously like this person thinks about you a lot like they're kind of crazy like they're head over heels in love with you oh my gosh yeah um i just feel like that's so crazy because there's a billboard outside and i literally just saw, like, saw a heart pop up as i said that and like i don't even know what that ad is i can't even see that far away but that's crazy um yeah I, I feel like there's genuine love here for sure i i do feel like your intuition you know that's something you really need to listen to when it comes to this connection like don't care so much about what other people say like what your friends are telling you or uh maybe if you went to like a reader and they said like you're not meant to be together or something like that like if you feel like deep down in your heart you are meant to be together if you look at them and the whole world just stops you know when you're like cuddling with them or like you know even kissing them and you're just like wow there's no one else in the world like this is who i want um then go after it okay don't settle for the nice person just because people are telling you to even if this person does have some like problems or things that they need to work through which by the way that's everyone it's like every single person um i do feel like there is a potential for the both of you to come out um stronger and better than ever with each other okay i say like follow your heart follow your intuition i do feel like this person is becoming a much better version of themselves i'm, I'm getting good vibes like good energy from this person good like intentions from this person as well i don't feel like this person ever meant to hurt you nor do they ever want to hurt you like i mean seriously like they are uh, like they're like crazy about you okay and i feel like they're gonna tell you that like they just they care about you so much i mean i feel like you sort of like help them be more vulnerable and really open up okay i feel like you really tapped into their heart chakra and um 
you made them see things in a different way you made them like have a different perception of love and because of that like you know like they just cannot forget about you they feel like you're one of the best things to have ever happened to them and yeah they're gonna come forward and really let you know about that i, I just feel like you and this person like th there's something um greater meant to happen between the both of you i we got a similar message in pal too but i feel like there's definitely some unfinished business between the both of you and you really have to explore that with each other okay we got aquamarine azurite and rose quartz okay so um wow i love that rose quartz is a lot of love here okay so much love here for sure uh we got venus energy which is amazing okay just pure intentions pure love that's it yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the seasons of the witch deck like that this is such a different deck like the juxtaposition between the both of these is a mood and like i've been doing that for all the piles today pile three but i just i absolutely love that yeah um okay i'm getting by the way like in terms of the signs i am getting like aquarius pisces libra taurus energy right now we also picked the amethyst which that just always reminds me of like 12th house placements but let's go ahead and see what the seasons of the witch have to say okay we got haunted wow okay i feel like your feelings for them like or their feelings for you still haunt them okay even if like uh this connection is quote-unquote like dead which it's really not but like my point is like even if it's like there has been some sort of like uh separation between the both of you i don't feel like this is going to be like a forever thing i feel like it's very very temporary seriously like i mean this person like wow okay kisses flesh and for whatever reason i said kisses in the beginning of this reading like if you're when you're kissing them i feel like they're thinking of the times they kissed you if you if you guys did do that so yeah um let's just read what this says the breaking of the floor beneath your naked feet the creaking of the walls as the cold kisses flesh you're never really alone when in the company of hauntings within bone oh my gosh wow that's a whole poem right there um oh my gosh like i love this so much i feel like you know you're you are never alone even if you're not together with this person what i'm really seeing here is that the both of you are so like you know deeply connected to each other um spiritually and like telepathically that it's like this person and you like they're always with you they're always like within you like this person is not outside of you and you especially feel this person's energy more than like anyone else okay i just feel like you know you just like meet those people that you instantly connect with and have a bond with like you are it for that person okay i don't feel like they ever had to like you know force their feelings for you like i feel like maybe in the past they could have been with people who like um they just like really were not that into and like you know like that's kind of the case with everyone i'm sure like you haven't like necessarily loved or been in love with like every single person you've dated right but i feel like uh for this person and you are one of the only people they've ever loved or like ever had like really deep feelings for so that's a really really big deal here i feel like you can just think of this person and this person will somehow pop up okay like maybe they'll, they'll like watch your story or like um, maybe you'll see their name or signs of them like that's literally all you have to do i don't think you realize how powerful of a manifester you are piled through okay i feel like a lot of you can just think of things and it ends up happening okay a lot of you could also be like word witches or like you know just like speaking things into existence i feel like a lot of you are really good at affirming so if you are into affirming keep doing that because i feel like it's working um if you have been affirming for this person again in the extended reading we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what you can be affirming to manifest this connection okay yeah we also got bat invoke thy power and fear not the hidden what lurks is coming with undenying change very interesting we got six and 21 so i feel like those could be relevant okay that's crazy because i'm filming this on the 15th and in six days it's going to be the 21st i feel like something could be happening in the next six days from whenever you're watching this or something could be happening on the dates that i just mentioned uh of whatever month you're watching this in because this is a timeless reading um i really love this whole thing of invoking thy power and fearing like you know just not fearing the hidden like you know not being scared of what's to come not being scared of like feeling really deeply and being able to be vulnerable and being able to like you know really open up to each other in that sense okay i feel like there is change coming okay change is inevitable um but this change is going to be really good it's going to be really beneficial okay so um i I'm, I'm actually getting good vibes from this i love that um let's go and pick one more card we got coming a winter 11 okay i like this i think we got this in pile one but i feel like this person is coming towards you okay something is definitely coming in this connection i I feel like um it's just it's not over there's definitely unfinished business i feel like this it's almost like this person has a secret to tell you that they're going to be like telling you they're going to be opening up to you. they're going to be coming forward and like telling you just how much you mean to them i've been like giving this example in every pile pile three but i recently just had a client who like came back with one of the best manifestation stories ever of like how her sp specific person literally confessed his love for her he literally told her that he loves her and that he really really likes her and that there is something between the both of them there is something that's going on between the both of them and oh my gosh like i'm i'm gonna be sharing that story i do have a law of assumption playlist on my channel where i talk about like client success stories and how to manifest a person or how to manifest whatever you want so check that out it's just, it's gonna be in on the playlist on my channel which is called law of assumption like that story is gonna like amaze you so if you feel like 
things are just you know nothing's happening like all is like gone to you know all is just lost that's that's not the case at all okay that's not the case at all i really really do see this person coming back for you coming back around i mean like they love you they are so 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 into you they care about you a lot um this is a very deep connection okay and like the both of you are marrying each other okay this is within your married flesh okay like i seriously like the both of you i feel like this could be a twin flame connection i feel like we got that for one other pal but i'm getting twin flame energy here um you know even with the number 11 and that's all crazy because there's this hand here like because i just ended up covering this and like she's holding something behind your back and then there's these like bats like oh my gosh okay so i feel like this person is just gonna like kind of grab you out of nowhere like okay that that sounds so weird let me backtrack that i mean like they're just gonna be hitting you up out of nowhere and you're gonna be like wait what like what how did this happen like what happened here um like they're just gonna be like knocking on your door like I, they're just this like unexpected unexpected hand just popping out okay um and i just feel like there's so much movement happening like this person is gonna be coming towards you like i feel like there's like there's such a huge shift that happened in the 5d that has yet to manifest in the 3d but it will manifest in the 3d like really really soon so yeah i really like this okay winter is coming uh, i love this like winter like they're coming to you okay um i definitely feel like by winter time from whenever you're watching this uh you'll be together or maybe something happened during the winter time maybe like that's when you met or it's like really special to you okay but i feel like maybe you'll even be going to some sort of ball or party together where you where you'll be dressed up in like winter outfits or something along the lines of that yeah um okay we also got spider oh my gosh this looks so creepy wow i love it though what a wild web we have dear child the delicious mystery untamed i feel like this is quite literally how your person perceives you they feel like you are quite a mystery to them and um like <laughs> you're like wild but at the same time like you know uh like you can be tamed but like you're untamed and it's just like your person like they, they just like they love you a lot like they feel like your energy is all over the place but they love your quirks um i just feel like you know like they're really into you because of like just um everything that you are like holistically okay like like all your wildness all your quirks all your insecurities like they accept you for all of that which is really amazing because i feel like this person has enough depth and knowledge to realize like no one's perfect you know like no one's ever gonna find someone that's like 100 percent perfect that like fulfills all their qualities but the thing with your person is that like you do fulfill like a lot of their qualities the qualities that they want in a part and then some like there's certain things that they didn't even know they wanted in a partner that you have okay like i feel like this person really wants stability right now um and like they're building a web it's like you know they're building their own web i'm so sorry there's a lot of traffic going on outside if you hear honks i'm like i'm in new york city right now like it's maybe someone is in new york maybe someone lives in a very crowded place like a traffic-y place maybe la or something like that or like a big city there's this one random message that i got here but it's like you know this person is like building a home building a life for themselves and i feel like they really are gonna want to extend that to you which is amazing okay so i feel like yeah i mean they love you so much they're so into you like they're they're enamored by you they think like you're really intriguing and mysterious and they just think like you're like you're a mister you're an enigma but like in the best way possible like they want to figure you out they want to untangle the web that you are okay yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some tarot cards to see what's going on yes i don't know why i'm talking really fast for you pile three i don't think i was talking this fast in any of the other piles like, i'm just getting really hyped and excited for you um yeah let's go ahead and pick some more cards okay these are gonna be tarot cards okay we got the fool i have been getting the fool a lot so i feel like new beginnings are coming in for a lot of you like i'm getting just a bunch of success stories from my clients um and it's kind of happening all at once like it is working for you i love that i love that so much okay new beginnings coming in for sure um new possibilities um spontaneity optimism oh my god like this person is optimistic about the future that the both of you have together like they never stopped like thinking about you like they never gave up hope on you they never gave up hope on this connection i mean they want to come forward okay like they feel like you're really amazing and um like they just they're so passionate about you and i feel like they really want this to take off because we got a similar message in pile two but i feel like this never really reached where you wanted it to go like i feel like there's so much more that the both of you have to explore with one another okay there's so much more that the both of you have to explore with one another like on this journey and yeah i mean like seriously like they're into you they're obsessed like literally like i'm getting like that obsession like you know when you have like an obsession on a crush like oh my gosh like what are they doing right now like i, I have to like stalk like every aspect of them like you know when you like stalk someone on instagram like you stalk like they're tagged and their followers and like oh my gosh like that, that that's how like uh, that's how into this person that's how into you this person is okay so yeah if you're like this i feel like they're definitely reciprocating that energy 
we got the ace of swords so yeah new beginning coming in for sure a lot of renewed energy this person has been gaining mental clarity about this connection and what you truly mean to them and just like how deep this connection really goes okay i mean like this person wants you like they really um like they have not given up hope on this manifesting i feel like maybe for a lot of you you feel like oh okay this is like beyond repair like i just i don't know if this is gonna happen i haven't heard from this person it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you haven't heard from this person in a week in a month in a year like 10 years like it, there's always hope and you can always get back together with whoever you want if you want it and i feel like that is like how this person is thinking like they have not given up on you i feel like if they were to see you like all the feelings would come just flooding back okay which means like they never really left yeah a lot of similarities between pile three and pile two we also got the sun i love that okay i'm getting by the way i'm getting air energy aquarius libra gemini i'm also getting leo energy aries energy here um we got pisces aquarius taurus libra energy that's a lot of signs it's like almost all the signs but still um we got yeah better and brighter days are definitely coming ahead uh positivity vitality happiness oh my gosh there's gonna be something that the both of you are gonna celebrate together i literally see the both of you going to some sort of party or ball or wedding or being a wedding date or something like that coming in for you okay i feel like you just invoke so much within this person like you are a light to this person i mean like seriously like this person cannot get enough of you like they are just so 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 enamored by you like they care about you so much all is well i love that like all is well it's gonna be okay it's gonna be fine if you have been going through a dark night of the soul this is a sign that light is coming in okay like you are light you embody light and because of the light that you have shown on shown on others shined on others yeah i mean this person is going to be reflecting that back to you okay like you are just so amazing um and i feel like you another message that we got in pile two you were able to access the depth within this person okay you were able to like really uh, invoke something deeper within this person and like this person literally has not been able to get you off their mind i mean like this person is like obsessing about you like they fantasize about you they think about you a lot okay um yeah i mean seriously like yeah you are just like a bright light that shines on everyone and like you know the right people will reflect that back to you and i feel like this person is reflecting that back to you and yeah i, I just i love this so much i love this so much like happiness positivity like just good vibes good vibes coming in for sure so yeah okay um let's go and pick a couple more tarot cards wheel of fortune oh my gosh we've been getting like all positive cards i love that by the way we got 10 19 uh zero like, okay i feel like something could be happening on the 10th or 19th or um I'm, I'm getting like october october vibes as well october 19th that's my mom's birthday wow okay maybe someone's birthday could be on there um yeah but like good luck karma things are really shifting in your favor in your direction okay there's a huge turn of events huge change of events that's going to be favoring um you know your desires okay that's going to be in your favor i feel like this person wants something more wants something deeper wants something committed i really feel like for a lot of you um it's like you're going to be entering a new phase in this connection i feel like you really want that i'm also seeing that someone is kind of annoyed by like looking at other happy couples and you're just like is this ever going to be me but trust me when i say like it's okay to be in a couplehood it's okay to like you know be loved uh be loved and love it's okay you're gonna like you know feel secure and safe in your relationship and i, I feel like sometimes we'll look at other couples and like we, we'll have a certain like feeling like oh yeah they're cute or oh my gosh that's so annoying like is that how i'm like in a couple and like maybe if you are someone who like when you're single and you find like other couples like to be annoying just imagine Imagine that yourself like imagine if you were with your person right now like trust me when i say like you will forget everyone else around you like that's how like being in a couplehood being in a pair is like when you're with the right person you literally forget like people around you exist okay like hopefully not in a chaotic way but that's how it that's how it feels like to your person i feel like whenever this person like kisses you or like is around you like they forget that other people exist they forget that time exists they forget that like you know they have like responsibilities and short like they just forget everything okay so yeah i mean that's how you make them feel like that's a big deal okay we got page of wands okay yeah i feel like this person is going to be contacting you really soon this is all about getting a message okay getting like a phone call or um text message where they're going to be hitting you up they're going to be like oh my gosh like you know uh i've been thinking about you a lot or like i feel like it's gonna be different i don't even want to spoil it okay this that that's a yeah i feel like they're gonna surprise you but you're getting some good news coming your way in regards to this connection i feel like this person is going to be reaching out to you i do feel like contact and communication is coming in your face is literally gonna light up as you see their name pop up on your screen and you're gonna like screenshot and be like oh my god they freaking messaged me like this is amazing okay i feel like there's so much more that the both of you have to explore within this connection okay like there's so much potential that you know like you and your person have like there's so much like this relationship has so much potential okay and i feel like they really really want to like you know 
like they, they want to explore this i do feel like someone here is a free spirit but it's like they're ready to commit to you i do feel like maybe they were someone that couldn't be tamed until you tame them okay you tame the beast here but like i feel like this person if they were to commit to anyone right now it would be you okay and i feel like you sort of like you let them have their freedom okay um i, I feel like they like that you're so like easy going on them and like you're just you're such a good influence on them like just good vibes all throughout i'm also seeing that someone has been like working on their gut health or eating healthier or exercising or going to the gym more or making changes or eating more vitamins and um adding supplements or yeah i'm seeing like maybe like someone's on tiktok and like, you know how they they recommend a bunch of like supplements on there like oh try magnesium it will literally heal your heal your depression or vitamin d like i literally saw this tiktok of this one woman who was like uh when you've been feeling tired and depressed but all you needed was like sunlight and vitamin d and like she, like she wasn't even depressed like she just like did not have the right minerals in her body or something like that i feel like someone's making like really positive changes to their body and immune system and um i feel like your person's been focusing on health you've also been focusing on health or maybe you will do that um I, I just feel like there's a lot of good change really positive changes coming your way okay i feel like this person and you like you're meant to be together and i feel like the both of your health the both of your like everything is improving and you know when you're in good health like mentally physically emotionally holistically i mean like things just like look up for you and yeah I, I don't know why but i'm getting a lot of like health vibes maybe someone could even be a virgo or have sixth house placements here okay um yeah we got like jupiter energy i'm getting like sagittarius energy a lot of fire energy coming in here um yeah and also the other signs that i mentioned in the beginning okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some oracle cards okay let's see what uh, they have to stay here we have so much in common yeah the both of you have so much in common like they just do not want to let this go because i feel like the both of you can relate on so many different levels Levels. maybe you have like the same sense of humor maybe both of you make like dad jokes or someone makes dad jokes and the other person just finds that to be so endearing i feel like this person definitely fell in love with your sense of humor and like the way that you talk and your quirks and like they just think like you're really funny and um like, they're just like they're in love with you like you know how like when you're like when you have a crush on someone and like everything they do like it just makes you fall harder for them and like it's just so funny and like you sort of like ruminate upon like every single little action that they do i mean like that's literally that's literally how your person feels about you okay like i can't even like like I, i'm being 100 percent real real right now like this person fell in love with you your quirks your humor your like just personality in general okay like this goes way 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 beyond the surface level here um we got don't forget about me yeah this person is hoping that you're not going to forget about them you're not going to forget forget about this connection that there is still hope there is still a future with the both of you okay like this th they're not ready to give up they're not ready to give up just yet the both of you are definitely going to like reunite the both of you are definitely going to see each other face to face we got i wish you wouldn't push me away wow so i do feel like the other person was pushing someone away maybe you were the runner in this connection maybe your person was like saying all these nice endearing things to you but you're just like yeah i don't know if i'm ready to hear that right now i don't know if i'm ready to like you know um do that right now I'm, I'm, like there's just so much going on like maybe you didn't want to get hurt so you sort of like uh maybe could have like ended things with this person or deleted this person or blocked them on social media or something like that or someone like sort of pushed the other person away just because they didn't want to get hurt and they needed to preserve their own feelings okay yeah that is something that i'm seeing happening but we got i am ready so this person is definitely getting ready to come towards you which i love okay and yeah you know, something else I do want to say is that if this is resonating, check out the extended reading where we'll be picking cards to see um, what else, you know, you can be saying or affirming to manifest this connection and just overall, like, you know, what else is going on. Like, we're going to pick initial zodiac sign cards. We're going to pick, like, um, what do you call it? We're going to be picking... Um, more oracle cards more love oracle cards so do stay tuned for that i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth manifestation coach or sorry in-depth video readings as well as a manifestation coaching i also custom make subliminals and i do have a guide out on my etsy that will help you manifest love okay whether that be with a specific person new love or soulmate love so yeah i will go ahead and end the video right here thank you so much love and light